Hey everybody, good morning, Master Sukuri, Tokyo, Japan. Over the last few weeks, we've seen social revolution with the Black Lives Matter movement. And personally, I wholeheartedly agree and support uh, the movement. Having been raised uh, Latino or Chicano or Hispanic or La Mexican American on the border of South San Diego, I grew up with uh, systematic racism in the United States through education, through society, and I saw the effects. Hopefully, I feel I can say that I was able to get past that and understand where I am in my life and my identity. Enough said. So this video today, I'm going to be talking about something that happened to me here in Japan. And I know people are going to jump all over it and say, oh, whatever, whatever. But I'm putting it out there because as always, I feel that I have an obligation to speak, to inform. And this was inspired by, by my son who's 14, he's half Japanese, half English, and we've been talking a lot about, he's been curious about uh, race relations in the United States. And he asked me, you know, how do I feel being a foreigner in Japan? And I said, well, how, how are you? And he said, he's really interested in, in society and anthropology and stuff like that. And he said, you know, he was shocked because his friends, who are not bad people, not bad kids, are raised in Japan in an incredibly again, I want to be careful with the word racism, but here everything is divided a lot, divided, okay? We are foreigners, and that's it. For me, that makes sense. I've been here 20 years. 98% of the population of Japan about is Japanese, ethnically Japanese. The first largest group, I believe, is Chinese, then Korean. So if you think about it, and a lot of those people are second generation, third generation, so you can't really tell them apart from regular Japanese people. So non-Asian looking Japanese or non-Japanese looking Japanese are very few, maybe 1% of the population. I understand. I'm putting this video out there because right now I feel it's, it's a time that we're all putting our information out there, right? Our experiences, our, our struggles, our uncomfortable feelings, okay? Um, I've been teaching Kapoeda here in Tokyo for 20 years. And people who come to Japan have a very different image than people who live here long term. I'll get into that more in other videos because I want you guys to see this video that I took when I was stopped by the police. Now, please understand that I've been stopped by the police at least two dozen times since I've been living here in Japan. This was just the one time I took a video. Okay. Yes, people are going to say they're incredibly polite, blah, 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 blah. But I'll let it go. And if you'd like to make some comments, we can discuss this. And hopefully in a mature and intelligent way. Right now, we need to address systemic racism. Stop and frisk for no reason whatsoever. Because it's not about where you're from. But basic, I believe in basic human dignity. That's my goal. That's the goal I try to teach my son, my kids, my students, and the people around me. Take a look at this video. I was stopped. Um, and the only reason was because I was wearing a Rasta hat. Here you go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
やっぱりねこれはねあのほらファッションわかる、うん、日本はそうそうでも、えー、マリマナ多いのよこれそうわかるわかるけど、うん、ちょっと失礼じゃない、うんうん、うんだけど、うん、私たちもほらわからないわからないから,から日本人もやってるやってる,やってるあけそれだったら大丈夫、うん、日本に特にこれもうすごいよ差別はしませんしょだから日本の人も僕は早稲田大学院文化人類学勉強した日本のことわかってるもう十年間アメリカ薬があのはい、はい、コインポケット指入れて大丈夫ですかいいですか指,指入れても大丈夫はい、ありがとうございます。もう卒業したのもう15年前、僕も大学院に教えてるよ。うんうん、いいですか、はい、ちょっと覗いていいはい、どうぞ。すいません。これはあの仕事使ってるのカミソリ。あ、そうだよ。カミソリはね。はい、うんうん。ちょっと中見てみ。ね、もちろんもちろん。うんうん、手厚くで手だけ。僕やります。うん、あのブラジルの踊りといろいろやってるから、うん、これ使ってるよ。うん、おお。はい。うん、そうそうそう。バーバーの。そうそうそうそう。ねはい、大丈夫。うん、大丈夫。オッケー。オッケー。手厚くで手厚く。はい。見てみ。はい。それね、十六年、ね、<笑>子供三人だから。もうずっと日本の学校なんですか。もうもう終わったよ。もう卒業しました。本当に、はい。子供さんも日本で育った。そうそう、奥さんも日本の子供です。女の子。もちろん女の子だよ。<笑>いや違うよ子供。子供,子供,子供,子供なんかびっくりしたよ。<笑>あのあのさあの三人子供で、うん、あの二人があの、うん、男の子と女の子。でこれから心配じゃないですか。わ悪い男の子だあんまり、まあ、い,い,いい奥さんにいるから、うん、結構娘いい人だから安心結構ありますよ日本はほら治安いいですからね、うん、他の国と違ってこれはアメリカです、うん、大学を終わってもう金がそれで愛情できてアメリカとは何するじゃあカリフォルニアこれは普通に入れて大丈夫ですか。すみません。あ、ありがとうございます。すみません。今日格闘技をしてるから。え、そうそうそう。そうなの？何やられてる？あのブラジルのカポエラ。カポエラ。はい。そうそうそう。これは足足上がらないよあれよ。So here we are. How do I feel about this? I think when I'm explaining how the situation of racism is in Japan, we have to keep in mind it's a very different cultural construct. Than it is, for example, in North America or in the United States, especially something that I'm accustomed to. Do I believe that I'm here to change people and to do it? No, I believe I'm here to, to maybe put things out in the open. And if people want to recognize what they are or not recognize what they are, then that's up to them.、Um, like I said, I made this video especially for, for my son, you know, so that he can have something to reflect on. Where will I go from here? Well, I feel I'm an educator and I love my adopted country of Japan. Okay? Anyone who knows me knows how much I work hard here and how much I'm doing things. What I will continue to do is in, in attempt to educate and give information. And here in Japan, things work very differently than anywhere else I've been to. But it is a first world country. The choice to maintain the status quo of racism or maintain the status quo of discrimination or maintain the status quo of foreigners, gaijin, you know, foreigners in a bad negative way, that's a choice. I'm hoping through time and through education that things will change here, much as I hope that in solidarity with everybody around the world. We can make all lives matter and basic human integrity. Mesh Sukuri, Mesh Vibes, Ashe.